and welcome to Webb's Grain Works. This week, I'm making a huge phone call, so I had to get limber for it. Today's the day that I talk to Ronnie, who's gonna help us order the still. All right, so just to catch you up, when I went to distillery school in Louisville, Kentucky, one of the guys that taught me was named Randy. And I was really counting on Randy to be our consultant when it came time to start buying equipment around here. Well, Randy's been in the industry for like 45 years. He worked for Jim Beam, Brown Foreman, and he has decided to retire, not taking on any more clients. When I found that out, I was a little freaked out. But fortunately, Randy has given us the name of another consultant in Louisville, Kentucky, named Ronnie. Ronnie used to work for Vendome, who are the people making our still. So, insider kind of, <laughs> pretty exciting. Today we're gonna call Ronnie. Let's do it. Let's try him on his mobile phone. Hi, Ronnie. Um, my name is Jeremy Webb, and uh, Randy made an introduction on, uh, on email. I was a former student of his at uh, Moonshine U, and I'm building a distillery out in California, and I need a consultant. I'm really uh, interested in, um, I've been looking at, at Vendome equipment. Um, it's what I learned on, uh, at, at obviously, at Moonshine U there. And then, I mean, as far as, this is kind of where I need <laughs> some help. Um, as far as like scaling goes, you know, uh, I get asked, I'm actually I'm doing my, my TTB, you know, paperwork and stuff right now, I'm getting ready to apply. It took me 32 months to get my conditional use permit in this building. So that's, that's what I did over the last two years. Finally got that. Um, and now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to take the next step. Um, and a big part of that is, you know, is getting our building permits and in order to, to finish the our plans, I, I really kind of need the equipment, <laughs> cut sheets and all that so that we can get know where everything goes and stuff. And that's where I really need other a, a set of, you know, uh, good eyes on it so I don't miss anything. Uh, clean water and what type of water that you're gonna use in your distillery, those two reports uh, together give you a shopping list to look at um, equipment that you'll need and also to verify that your um, site that you have is adequate for your needs. Does that all make sense? Yes, sir. So that's that's typically where I start people, and that, that gets people in a healthy direction towards towards what they want. They don't waste any time because they know what their shop is worth at that point. Okay, that sounds great. That sounds like, you know, that could really get me kind of headed in the right direction. And let's say... Then why don't I, I? Then why don't we just say the 250 gallon system is is kind of what I'm interested in, and and go forward from there. Now, what did you base? Now, you based the uh, going with the 250 gallon system just entirely on your experience with Moonshine U, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, again, the only reason I, I say it like that is so lots of times if somebody is looking at a system and it's and it's between a 250 or a 500 I'll usually just say it's worth the initial equipment cost in building your distillery to kick up to the next size and then distill fewer days a week or distill you know fewer weeks out of the year and and, and, and then initially you you can and you make the same amount of discipline that you planned on making and then ramp up as you become more efficient you're you're business becomes more uh, lucrative. Uh, let, me, well, let me ask you this, if, uh, and, and I really kind of just appreciate you helping me kind of figure out the, the reality of all this. If I'm running a 500 gallon still, my goal is to fill a barrel a week. I mean, that's kind of my goal at the beginning is to just start filling a bit, try to do a barrel a week, which, and the way I was kind of doing it in my head because it was kind of what I was familiar with was, you know, doing, two stripping runs and and then and a large spirit run and trying to see if if i could fill a barrel once a week doing that i'll look into that for you okay I'll, 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 i wrote that down as is 
what I've got in, in your goal. I'll look at a, a 250 and then and, 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 and do the math and, and say you're going to have to strip this many times. You, you know, you'll have to strip this many times to get a, a, a spirit run going. Okay. I mean, let's see when you're running just a few days a week or, or one barrel a week. I'll, I'll I'll run and show you what you can do. I'll also run out the uh, what I think is a, a couple ranges of healthy production for. For uh, for that system, so like uh, if you were going to distill uh, on a single shift a day, something like 240 days a year, uh, I'll look at that, and then I'll also give you another set of numbers that just have that thing maxed out, running running it 24 hours a day, 350 days a year. Okay, that would be great. That would really put start, and then I could, you know, then we can talk if if that is appropriate or if I you know take the initial larger step and, and just go, you know, or if a 500 gallon at the beginning would just be far too much still for me. Okay, and then any ideas on the production side, like what a lead time is? I, they might tell you something like 10 months. In my experience, that is not nearly as long as it sounds because you've got a lot of stuff to do. You're building, uh, you've got a lot of stuff to do with your building before that still ever goes in. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. And I gotta be honest, I kind of like, I've spoken to, I've spoke to Vindome back in like 2019, just briefly. And I mean, I kind of had that in my mind, like nine months to a year lead time. Um, I always told my crew here that the still would be the longest lead time out of everything. I want to get it ordered so, you know, that, for that very reason. I want to kind of get it up and, and figured out and ordered sooner than later um, so that we can uh, get that clock ticking and so that I can get all the information and get it on my, my plan so that we can get those submitted and get, get the permits to start building around here. Very cool, very cool. Super excited. Big steps, you guys. Are we gonna have a 250 gallon? You know, I was wrong. This whole time I've been saying 300 gallon still. Vendome, now Vendome will make a custom still. So if we really wanted them to make us a 300 gallon still, they would. But they they make kind of like off the line a 250 and a 500 gallon. So um, most likely we'll probably just buy one that is the kind of like one of their prefab models. Uh, the question is now, do we go 250? Or do we go 500 gallon? And that is a question that Ronnie will help us answer. So, very exciting, huge step towards uh, making this thing a reality. And thanks for joining us. That was awesome. Um, make sure you, you subscribe, keep coming back week after week, and see this thing happen right here at Webb's Grainworks. See you next week, guys! Woo!